My name is Rick Fincy. I'm a professor in material science and engineering, and I'm also the director of CAMN, the Center for Advanced Materials and Nanotechnology. Nanotechnology is the ability to understand and manipulate matter down at the atomic level. And the reason it's so important is that it offers new opportunities to solve problems. So as opposed to taking all of the traditional methods of science and engineering we've worked with for hundreds or even thousands of years, all of a sudden we have a new toolbox to play with, a new way to manipulate matter to uh, create new devices that have not only never existed before, but maybe people never even imagined could exist. My name is Nelson Tansu. I'm a faculty member in the Electron and Computer Engineering and director of, of, for the Center for Photonics and Nanoelectronics. CPN is a merger of like a previously established center called Schumann Fletcher Center for Solid State Study and Center for Optical Technologies. In CPN, where we want to position ourselves is at the interface of the cyber and the physical world. This is actually what we call a cyber physical system. This is the enabler technology that allows us to interact from the physical world and the computing world. The center has been around in one form or another for over 40 years here at Lehigh, and its role is to bring together all of the people on campus who are interested in research that's related to materials. So we're talking about uh, cement, we're talking about metals, we're talking about glass and plastics, everything that uh, people build things out of. In CMMN, uh, uh, they are focusing mainly on the fundamental material science research, while in CPN, we are addressing like more on device and system technologies. CAM and CPN are really parallel organizations, and there is some overlap between the two, but there's also a nice differentiation. So CPN concentrates largely on photonic and electronic phenomena, and especially the uh, members of that center think about things at the system level. By breaking the boundary between the departments or traditional discipline, this allows us to, to come up with new idea, new innovation, and, and uh, you know, uh, solve new problems that cannot be solved by the traditional uh, uh, discipline. And there's a lot of like many, uh, there, there are many uh, uh, interesting research topics that will fall at the interface of both CAMN and also CPN. For example, new material technology that will enable us to make a better laser, a better LED devices, a, a better solar cell. And all the new material system that will allow us to, to be, uh, uh, to be co more compatible for bio, you know, a biological and also medical implantable devices. Although a lot of the excitement these days is about the nano level, because it allows us to manipulate matter in a way that we've never been able to do before, there's still immense opportunities at what we would call the micro level kind of halfway in between the nano and the macro scale. So you could imagine, for instance, a material being investigated at a really fundamental level within the umbrella of CAM, and then as it starts to show promise, being handed off to CPN for development as uh, more of a device level uh, application. The expert that's working in photonics, electronics, and heat are typically separated from one another. Now, by having them work into one umbrella, then we are be, be able to bridge these three areas together. So people who work within CPN and CAM are working at many, many length scales. And uh, we, we may use nanoscale phenomena, but we may be actually manipulating matter at the micro scale in order to achieve a macro scale result.